it's time to step up and take a turn Take what you've learned, forget what you've heard What you think you deserve, it's time to make it earn My name's Nick McClay, I'm uh, the guitar player for Paradise Creek We've been playing now since 2014 um, when I got two of my best friends together to collaborate, being Nick, our singer, and uh, Garrett, our uh, current guitar player, who's originally our drummer, actually. I'm Nick Diamanditas, lead singer for Paradise Creek. It's kind of a funny story how we came together, because um, I had always just played sports my whole life, and then uh, come the fall of 2013, I was playing football, got a big concussion, wasn't able to play sports anymore, so um, when I healed, kind of in my spare time, I'm hanging out and uh, Nick, our guitar player, had always kind of just come over and jammed out and I started singing with him and uh, before you know it, he ended up bringing over one of his buddies that he'd met at some party somewhere and that was Garrett. Garrett comes over. I had met Garrett at a party in high school like a couple of years earlier that I'd actually crashed. I had no business being in there. But uh, you know, we started talking and I think like Somehow Led Zeppelin came up and I mentioned that I just learned like the guitar solo a whole lot of love and he was like, oh yeah, I know that song. I was like, oh, we should jam, you know? So for a while, it was like a couple of times every year we would get together, we'd play some music and occasionally we'd like busk in Annapolis, but that was the extent of it for, you know, a couple of years that we were just like kind of getting our musical bearings underneath of us. Um, at the same time, I was also uh, playing a lot of music with Nick, um, who he was recovering from a concussion that he got playing football in high school. and. I grew up right across the street from Nick, we've been best friends since we were probably like six, seven years old, you know. And it wasn't until, you know, one day I think we were jamming out in his basement and I was like, dude, you actually, you're like a pretty good singer, you, <laughs> we, should, we should do something, you know. It was funny because Garrett's like, well, we should be a band, like, uh, I have a drum set at home and I could play like one beat, you know, like, kick on one, <laughs> snare on three. So we got together and we play a band and the first show we play is this thing that um, kind of like Garrett's old friend group puts on called the Brewer's Bash. It was out in the middle of the woods, we brought out like a generator, had a stage, like ping pong tables and uh, just played like the three of us, just a bunch of covers. And then um, from there we needed a bass player so I invited Bob, he started playing uh, bass and um, yeah, kind of went from there, started writing songs, playing shows. Um, the way Nate joined the band is also kind of a funny story because, well, we invited this kid to come drum and we didn't know him, but he um, comes and drums and like a few a few practices in, he goes, like, you know, I was at you guys' like first show ever, right? And we're like, oh, really? You're at Brewer's Bash? Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's like, yeah, I'm that kid that got bit by a snake. So at Brewer's Bash, somebody got bit by a snake, had to get rushed to the hospital. And that was Nate. Like, we find that out years later. So he hopped on the drums, Garrett moved to uh, rhythm guitar, and um, yeah, that's kind of how the band started. And it's been a fun ride so far, but this last record I think we really started to shine on, um, really started to get the sound that we wanted, and we started moving in a direction that I really can't wait to build on in the future. We're like, even now we're working on more stuff. So we've got a full album, we've got an EP. Um, the full album took like a year and a half to finish up, and it includes some of the tracks off the EP but it was kind of our best effort to get a professional sounding recording and to uh, really try to capture the sound that we were going for. I would say that we're probably characterized by alternative rock. Um, if people were to ask for like two bands that we kind of resembled, I'd say that we're somewhere between the Rolling Stones, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, there's a heavy influence from Cage the Elephant as well. Um, it's a little sublime here and there, you know, every record seems to have a reggae track on it. But uh, mainly alternative rock, I think, is probably where we're coming from, what we're trying to do. It's been a great ride. I mean, we've gotten to get together. The first EP we threw together literally in like four hours in the studio. And um, I thought that was really like the purest kind of music we'd done from, from the standpoint of just, those were like the first songs we'd written and the first like time we recorded. And it came out all right. But <clears throat> then for the second record, um, you know what I mean? It was more of a creative process where we really got together and you know, Bobby and Nick would come up with like a little idea or with Garrett and then I'd come in, write some more of the lyrics. Um, definitely more of a collaborative effort and then the recording process we learned a ton through. Just with John Judge who produced our record, really like kind of helped take our sound to the next level but also taught us a ton about production process, writing and um, everything like that.
think a big goal for us is just getting a lot of new music out. Um, songs on You Know What I Mean are about like two years old now, so just starting to write and create together. Um, it's been a little disjointed because we've been apart kind of at school and stuff, but now we're getting back together and starting to write again and um, get more material, so. We're playing a thing out in California where we're gonna go and kind of get together, write a bunch, try to get a new record down. And um, and then from there, just keep playing shows and uh, promoting for for the new stuff and, um, and kind of expanding our base from the Annapolis area. It's out of your control. You think there's something you can do. Don't you be reckless. Sometimes you just can't change the tune.